we're really Ed Sheeran, Sam Smith, everyone's talking about it and how amazing she is. Thir over 13.5 million views for her track Dear No One in 2013. Um, she's sexy, she's gorgeous, she's extremely talented. It's the one and only Tori Kelly. How are you? Well, I'll go give you this one. Right, so how are you? Great. Welcome to Malta. Have you been Thank here before? You. I have not. No, it's beautiful. Is it always this beautiful outside though? It's yeah. Just like yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Always cool. You should still move to Malta. Yeah? Um, when did you get here? Have you been here long? I got in yesterday. Have you managed to have any time out to look around? We did, yeah, me and, me and my band, we did take a little tour around. It was night, but it was so awesome. We just like took the van and just drove around. It was so gorgeous. We got dinner, like went out right on the water. It's so, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, it's great to have you here as part of Isle of MTV. And we have a, a stellar lineup with um, yourself, Eka Smith just there, Jason Rulo, Martin Garrix, a, a wide range uh, of music as well. How does it feel to be part of it this year? It feels amazing. I, I didn't realize the lineup was so small when I got here. I was like, oh, there's literally only five of us performing. Yeah, and it's pretty good ones. Well, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm honored just to be in, in the mix with them because I've, I've, I'm a fan of all of them. So. Um, it feels pretty cool to be a part of it. Have you met any of the artists before? Yeah, I've met uh, Martin, I've known for a while, um, amazing kid, and Echo Smith I'm pretty close with, who I just I ran into back there behind this little... <laughs> and it was like the backstage area, <laughs> fancy, behind us. Yeah, I think, uh, and I think that's about it. I'll, I'll probably run into the rest of them later yeah. today. Yeah. Because uh, I always think it's things like this where you end up meeting other artists and like, that's how collaborations and things come about. So yeah. I'm just wondering maybe after this, you know, you, you meet up with Jason Derulo and maybe you could end up doing something with him. Is that a possibility? I'm down. Yeah, if he's down, I'm down. I like it. We can see what we can do. <laughs> um, what track are you most looking forward to performing tonight in front of the, the crowd? Mm, I'm, I really like doing my song um, Unbreakable Smile just because I think it represents my album as a whole and it, it's the title track for the album too but um there's a song i've never i've never done in front of a crowd like this called city dove okay i'm really excited about too because it has just like a really uplifting um encouraging message that inspires me a lot when i perform it so i'm hoping that that someone in the crowd will, will be inspired by it yeah well maybe most of the crowd would be nice hopefully yeah um do you get nervous when say it's a song you haven't performed much before it. Do you kind of get nervous of what the response will be, especially if the song looks very special to you? Yeah, definitely. I think there's a, a vulnerability when you're when you're releasing music in general, let alone performing in front of fifty thousand people. That's, no that's pressure. No at all. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think it makes it more exciting though. Just that that nervous thing. I, I yeah. don't know. I, I I like that I get nervous before shows because I think it it just kind of lets me know that I'm excited to be there and I want to do well and. I would be a little bit concerned if I wasn't nervous. To be yeah, honest. butterflies are good. Yes, yes. Um, being a girl in this weather is hard because you've got your makeup, you've got your hair, you've got your clothes, and then you've got this crazy heat. So, yeah. how much thought has gone into what you're going to wear on stage? Uh, when I got in yesterday, I didn't realize it was going to be that hot, so I had to re rethink my wardrobe because I did bring a jacket for stage. You don't need no jacket here. I don't think I'm going to use the jacket. It was a really cool jacket, but I was some kind of bones. Oh. But maybe I'll just bring it and like yeah. show people. Go back to London or Ireland. It's freezing there. You can stick the coat on. Yeah. So I, I'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm all about comfort. So I won't, I'm sure I won't be running around in a full get up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. What um? What can we expect? So say someone who's never seen you on stage before. Is it you know? Is it quite energetic? Is it quite balanced? What can they expect? Uh, balance seems like seems like a good mm -hmm. description. I, I do play play guitar, you know, quite a bit in the set, which is fun. And uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna experiment a little bit with this show, though, because I mean, it's it's just a taste of what you would see at a full a full set. So yeah. um, so it'll be fun because I'm trying to cram in like every every type of song that I have into one little 20 minute set. So we'll we'll see. It should be fun though. Looking forward to it. And, and you've got to work with so many people, and so many people are singing your praises. I mean, you work with like Pro Green, um, Ed Sheeran, Sam Smith. Ed, Ed, Sam Smith and Ed Sheeran, I'm always seeing your name pop up on Twitter, and they're always talking about you. Like, how does it feel to get that recognition from people who have done so well? It's, it's so flattering. I mean, especially people like Sam and Ed, who are just killing it right now. You know, Sam, I remember seeing his very first show at uh, this, this place called The Troubadour in LA. 
and it was, it was his first show in the States, so just to be there, and that was the first time we met, and we were just like fangirling over each other, because we had both found each other online, Yeah. so um, just to see someone like that in his career is, you know, doing so great, and having his support, and it's just cool, because we're all in it together, and just to see that everyone just wants to see um, each other do well, well. Yeah. yeah. And what's next for Tori, then, after this? We've got a busy summer, you're doing lots of festivals? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would love to just keep performing, and um, my album, I'm pretty sure, is set to come out later this year out here, so um, that should be cool. I'm sure I'll be all over just promoting that. Looking forward to it. And a question I've asked everyone, because our sponsors this year are the amazing app Hooked, which is like a singing selfie. I'm just wondering, um, when you use your phone, because everyone's always on their phone, what is yeah, the number seven. one app that you're using all the time? Uh, number one app is, let me check right now. <laughs> See what's going on. Because it's the obvious, it's the Twitter, it's the Instagrams. Mm. Are you do you play games on your phone? Do you like notes? Rarely. rarely. Do you always oh, you know actually? Do you sing? Do you like Yes, no, I do. I actually have a, a app called Awesome Note. Awesome Note, what's that? And you can do it's where I put all my lyrics. Oh. Like, so I'll just get ideas. Or like journal entries, or okay. you can set like a password and stuff. Yeah, set a password yeah. because if anyone gets behind on that, they yeah. we've got a lot of and I like I like editing pictures too, so I use Afterlight a lot. Do you use that? Because is that one of the things though? Because I'm always scared with, you know, when you take a picture and I'm like, just stick a filter on that. I forget what I look like in real life. If you, oh, like, no. if you use too many filters, I'm like, can I just put a filter on my face yeah, today? Yeah, you gotta keep it really subtle. <laughs> keep it subtle. Keep, keep, subtle, keep yeah. it real. Um, I'm just gonna open it up to the floor now. Does anyone have a question for Tori if they want to raise their hands? <laughs> have, I, have I asked all the questions? I, I, have, I think I've been talking for too long. <laughs> we got, any questions? Any questions? Tori, the back. Oh wow! Hi. You got your break, basically from the internet, from YouTube. How 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 lucky do you feel that you got such a break? You got 22 million views with a cover version of someone else's song. Oh, that's a good question. I feel I feel really blessed to be able to call the internet like a platform for me. I think I think not a lot of people get to say that. And uh, for me, though, putting up covers was always just a, w a way, like a segue, to introduce people to my own music because I always wanted to be known as a songwriter first and as an artist, so I, I think it's cool that I got to use covers as a way to kind of draw people in and kind of like, check out my own stuff, guys. So, um, but it's cool, there's so many ways now to get yourself out there, so it's, it's awesome that the internet is used in that way. And it's cool too because I feel like I have a connection with my fans that's really unique because of that. Do you, you want to consider yourself lucky that you made such a break? I mean, look at you today, you're, 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 next month, all this will be, apart from the concert itself tonight, you'll be watched worldwide on MTV. It's amazing, yeah. No, I, I definitely feel blessed to be a part of an event like this, especially with my background, just coming from a girl in her room just making YouTube videos. Because you know? Do you, um, actually I wanted to ask, because you said you, you knew about Sam Smith before he became the Sam Smith that we know now. Yeah. Are you aware of like a lot of kind of up and coming music on the internet? Do you kind of look on YouTube and see other artists? Um, I, I try to stay up to date with that stuff um, and just kind of keep my eyes out for different yeah. people. But it seems like it's more of like my friends, like wanting to support my friends. I don't think of it as like, yeah. oh, I just discovered this person. Yeah. And it's kind of like just wanting to see uh, your friends do well, and it's so cool when they do. Mm -hmm. Like, example is uh, one of my friends, this group Pentatonics, who was, you know, blown up on YouTube and doing huge shows now. Like, I've known them before they were even a group. So stuff like that is awesome because we can both kind of follow each other's careers and keep up with each other. Amazing. Well, Tori, thank you so much for joining us here today. Best thank of luck tonight. Can't wait to see the performance. Good up for Tori. Hey, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Add to, to the pile. Thank you so much, Tori, everyone. Thanks, Mel. See you.